Hi there, in this video I'm using QGIS 64-bit, uh, it's 316, however, um, and what I'm going to do is update the um, attributes in this grid, which actually I created in MapInfo in a previous video, and I'm just doing the same video as, as what I've done in MapInfo and indeed just Pro, just showing you how you can update a polygon, a region, with underlying raster values, uh, you know, where it overlaps. Um, on a raster. So the raster I have here is SRTM um, and uh, it's around Austria way. I use it a lot in my videos <clears throat> and what I want to do is just just build uh, calculate sort of mean, median, um, average, all, all those sorts of um, values, um, range um, and, and just add them as attributes to the file, which I can then use for further processing or, or, or analysis or, or some QA. So um, I've actually got, there's, there's several ways of doing this actually. The way I'm going to show you is with the Saga tools. Um, you definitely should get that installed. There's a, there's a lot of uh, lot of those tools in um, uh, the toolbox with, with Saga. Um, there's a whole range of, of tools here and that's that, that, those are appearing because I've typed statistics in the search. If you don't see Saga, you don't seem to be able to activate them or get to them. Just just double check your options, and and go to processing and providers, and you'll see the other tool sets here. And just make sure that Saga is activated. You know, just make sure, and um, uh, just just tick them all really, and and you'll be fine. Um, so there you go. So the tool I'm going to use is Raster Statistics for Polygons. I'll just double click on that. One thing to note, you'll see I'm 4326, so that's uh, WGS34, um, and everything is the same projection. And you, you, you certainly may come across problems if you're using different projections, so you, so consider that as a, as, as a key element of this work, um, the projection system you're using. The, um, now, where are my polygons from that I'm going to update? Well, there's, there's only one layer of polygons called MyGrid, uh, which I've cunningly named 4326. <laughs> I have various demos of it in different projection systems just to show people um, the effect. Uh, I don't need to sort of support overlapping polygons, not bothered because um, there aren't any. Uh, and um, and I'll, I'll just use the grid number two as a naming convention. I'll leave all those ticked uh, just so you can see them all, but it will give a whole um, raft of uh, uh, new attributes to my table. Specify quantiles if you wish. I'm just going to save to a temporary file, but I, you know, I could put in, you know, something like that. <coughs> my data.shp, or just press the search button. So, um, and I will do actually. I might as well. Uh, yeah, let's change that slightly. My raster data, uh, and I'll put .shp to force it as a shapefile. Um, so that's all you need to do. Um, I'm slight error there uh, at the very top in grids uh, make sure you've got your grid selected where are you getting this data from I'd forgotten that one um, that's the main bit so and it's reminding you there that that, that uh, grid name what the UPSG is it's saying that because that may not be in the title in my layer but it's a like I said it's a key fact what is the UPSG um, and then that's it really press run so it shouldn't take too long. I mean, that, that grid, I've only got a few grids. Um, there. Off we go, nice little June at the end. Let's just close. And, and you see it's added it to the map. I'll just turn off uh, that my grid one that's not there nor there now. So it's added this new polygon layer, um, shape file. It's actually a shape file. And if I click, you'll see here, you'll see min, max, range, sum, mean, variance, standard deviation. So all the values are there. It is a shape file. Um, when I hover over it, it, you can see it says C temp, my raster data .shp. It tells me it's uh, most definitely in 4326. So to finish this off, I could make a little label. Um, I always like playing with the labels. So let's do the um, mean and let's do an expression. Um, and let's actually because there's loads of uh, decimal places in this, what we can do is look for a, 
a rounding. Here we go, let's do round. Close that off. So I just do that. So I won't get any um, decimal points after it. And there you go. So that's the average height within each of those um, grids. And uh, I can, what I'll do is I'll just uh, add uh, Orbis. I've already, I can just double click, actually plonked it on top. Although that's interesting, you see the labeling has come up on the, um, in those areas, but I'll drag it underneath, makes it a bit more. And now I'll just make this a bit translucent. And that's it. Symbology, and you need to do layer rendering, and then onto the opacity. Leave that out the omega again, press apply. See? So that was symbology, layer rendering, opacity. And there you have it. I hope you um, uh, find that useful. As you can see, I've got uh, I've actually got my background raster coming at 3857. So there's a bit of projection stuff going on there. But but as you can see, I've got my my average values there from a raster. So like I said, I've used the Saga tool, raster statistics for polygons. I hope you find that useful. Thanks.